with Miss Alder, Ben Amin, and Dulsa, Miss Lobos, Miss Titanic, and Miss Sam. Next book. So, ang um, unang... Next. Doon muna sa ano, para may... Yan. So, ang unang RNA virus natin is Paramyxoviridae. Paramyxoviridae is an RNA node that has a single-stranded and negative sense. Yung protein synthesis niya is cannot be directly based. And the viral life cycle begins with the attachment to the host cell membrane and entrance takes place when the viral load is released into the cytoplasm. So to create mRNA, the negative sense RNA node goes through initial transcription. So the viral polymerase, which is made up of pro phosphoprotein and large protein components catalyzes the replication of the viral node into two steps. So, ang um, first natin is producing anti-genome anti intermediates from genomic templates and then negative sense node. So, the freshly synthesized nucleoprotein joins the developing genomic RNA to create the helical nucleocapsid. So the RNA-dependent RNA polymerase complex, or RNPs, is then contacted with the newly created structure. So before membrane fission and viral particle release, yung RNPs is nag engage siya ng surface glycoproteins to assemble at the plasma membrane, which is carried by the M protein. So, ayun lang naman yung life cycle ng paramyx of the day. So, next go. So, yung under niyang disease is missiles. So, missiles is commonly known as a rubella virus, which is, ang um, positive agent niya is rube rubello, rubella virus. So, it is highly contagious vir viral infection brought on by a member of paramyxoviridae family of viruses. So, specifically, yung missile virus, it can cause a broad rash and predominantly affects the respiratory system. So, um, epidemiology niya is through infection, coughs, or sneeze. Pwede rin siya na mapass through respiratory droplets. So, yung missile outbreaks are possible, especially in areas where vaccination rates are low. So, missiles was a frequent childhood disease before the missile vaccines was widely used. So, kahit may vaccination campaigns na, na decrease pa rin. Yung vaccination campaigns, na decrease niya yung um, missiles na kumakalat sa, sa buong lugar. So, ang diagnostic test natin is blood test, PCR test. Then, ang first-line drug treatment is wala akong nahanap. Pero, to control symptoms and up complications, supported care is offered. So, kailangan mo lang ng rest, appropriate water, and pwede ka rin gumamit ng use of over-the-counter painkillers such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen. Yung aspirin should be avoided in children due to the risk of race syndrome. So, to alleviate fever or pain, ito yung mga ginagamit na. So, yung children naman na may missiles, um, nasabihan siya ng doktor na mag-take ng vitamin A supplements para, para ma-lower yung risk ng complications. So, missiles must be controlled by vaccination and prevention. So, yung MMR vaccine na ginagamit for missiles, which is often administered siya along with the mumps and rubella vaccine. 
it is quite efficient at preventing measles. So the vaccination is normally given in two doses. So the first dose is being given between the ages of 12 and 15 months. And the second dose is between the ages of 4 to 6 years old. So I love both. Next one. Next is... Okay. One moment lang. One moment lang. Okay. So, for... Balik kayo sa parang may iso. Aha. Sinend ko sa inyo yung... Ano sa messenger pati na ako. Ito. Yung... Kung mapapansin ninyo, yung hierarchy ng RNA virus, kung sa compared with DNA, sa DNA double-stranded yung madami. Dito sa RNA virus, almost always uh, single-stranded. Now, my question for the group, ano ang pinagkaiba ng positive sense, negative sense, at saka ambisense and negative? Which is yan yung sasagutin nyo ninyo later on. Kasi kailangan natin malaman ano itong tatlo. Okay, so basically, ito yung magiging map ninyo sa morphology ng inyong RNA virus. Kaya ako siya binigay para hindi na kayo mag-memorize word for word. E, tignan nyo na lang siya sa uh, map nyo na yan. So, for paramyxoviridae, isa sa mga disease na kinukos niya is measles. Ano po ba yung measles? In Tagalog, um, tigdas. Ito yung tigdas. Tigdas hangin, tigdas eme, basta tigdas. So, ang inyong paramyxoviridae, also known as rubiola yan actually, no? So, isa siya sa nagkukos ng one of the most contagious diseases, which is yung measles. Okay? Measles. In Tagalog, tigdas. Okay, magtapalit ko dyan. And then, um, meron tayong mga terms na kailangan malaman in terms dito sa clinical syndromes ng measles. May tinatawag tayong prodrome. Ano yung Pag sinabi natin prodrome, the patient is having high fever. Meron siyang aking cup and conjunctivitis. Pag itong tatlong to nag-combine, mataas yung lagnat ng pasyente, may may sore eyes at inuubo siya, ang tawag doon prodrome. Next, ano pa yung pwede ninyo makitang symptom sa measles? Complex spots. Ang tawag dyan. Complex spots. Ano naman po yung complex spots? This is actually a small red face. White. Centered. Centered lesion in the Ma so, ibig sabihin, kapag meron kayong complex spots, meron kayong, um, yung sa gilid ng mga ano ninyo, ng bibig ninyo, para kayong nagsusugat dyan. Mm -hmm. Tapos nagtutubig din siya kasi nga, nagsusugat siya. Okay? And definitely, one another symptom of your measle is rash. And this is from head, then to neck, and torso. Kaya yung tignas ninyo, hindi kayo magtataka bakit para kalat siya. Kasi it really happens na from head to neck to torso. Okay? Then to feet. Pwede yung pumunta din sa spa. Okay? Now, kapag hindi na-treat yung measles ninyo, ano yung mga possible complications na pwede ninyo makuha? Pwede kayo makakuha ng pneumonia. Kasi nga, sabi ni Miss Fat, matama ba? It... it travels through the lungs then tama yes. ba ako i damage myocarditis and encephalitis so kapag kunwari nagkaroon ka ng encephalitis tapos medyo uh, sa umpisa wala siyang symptoms hindi siya na feel pero meron na pala kayo sa katawan ang tawag doon sa acute sclerosis sclerosing pan encephalitis ibig sabihin ito yung slow form ng encephalitis 
na parang wala siyang ano, wala siyang symptoms at first, tapos bubulaga na lang 'yan kapag ano na siya, pag malala na siya. The reason why we call it Damson disease. Baka lang lumabas sa boards ninyo. <clears throat> Now, reinforce lang natin yung treatment. Sabi ni Miss uh, Miss Fatma, walang talagang specific treatment for measles, but then since self-limiting siya, kung sa atin siyang tumagaling, However, based from my experience, since nagkatigidas ako, binigyan din na ni Dok ng Ciclovir. Uh, Ciclovir. Just for, ewan ko, para lang siguro ma, hindi mapagabag yung nanay ko na akit walang binigyan na gamot. And then, you also need to take vitamin A supplementation. And napakamahal ng vitamin A. Yung mga apaksin ninyo. Mga brands ng mga to apak. Yan. Tapos pag nakita nyo yan during your community, ewan ko kung nag-community, ano na ba kayo? Immersion. Pero, pero mga apaksi. Uh, uh, nandun yung sa mga prescription area. Bani, sino po usually ang mga nag-vitamin A supplementation? Usually mga bata. O, mga bata. Usually 50,000 IU. And then for the prevention, correct, MMR vaccine yung gagamitin natin. Spat pa ano ang MMR? Anong meaning ng MMR? Ano po sir? Um, measles, mumps, and rubella. Ano? Measles? Mumps and rubella po. Mumps and rubella vaccine. Very good. So yan yung mga dapat ninyong tandaan for uh, para mixo pirate. Sige, punta na tayo sa toga pirate. Baka mamaya magutom na yung napakainin. <laughs> so, next po. Sandali, bakit nyo nilaktawan yung orto mixo? Orto mixo is una dito eh. Bakit nasa ano, pangalawa? Sir, inuna nila ako sir kasi nagpaalam ako sa sir. Ah, okay. Okay, sige. Sorry, sige. sir. Okay. Pero yung pinasa namin PPT, sir, tama po. Ha? Uh, yung nakapasa po namin PowerPoint, magkakasunod po. Ah, okay. Uh -oh. Sige. So, next po is Togavir Day. So, Togavir Day virus are encapsulated viruses, which means that their genetic material is surrounded by an external lipid membrane. So, during the budding process, the whole cell membrane is converted into the viral envelope. So the viral RNA known is contained in an iposahedral protein capsid that lies beneath the envelope. So multiple copies of the structural protein known as capsid protein make up the capsid. So for the life cycle, first is the Um, the virus attaches to the specific receptors on the surface of host cells. Then, these receptors can vary depending on the specific bug of virus. So, once attached, the virus is internalized into the host cell through receptor mediated endocytosis. So, within the endosome, the low pH environment triggers a conformational change in the viral envelope proteins leading to the fusion of the viral envelope with the endosomal membrane. So this fusion event allows the release of the viral nucleocapsid into the cytoplasm of the host cell. So then comes with the translation and replication. So the viral RNA node is a positive sense RNA, which means it can serve as a template for immediate translation by host cell ribosomes. So this translation leads to the synthesis of viral non-structural proteins. So the non-structural proteins in include the RNA-dependent replication. So the replication occurs in specialized membrane structures within the host cell cytoplasm called replication complexes. So last B is the budding process. So the nucleocapsid interact with viral envelope proteins which are expressed on the host cell membrane. So this interaction 
leads to the budding of new virus particles from the host cell during the budding process. The viral envelope is acquired from the host cell membrane and the mature virus particles are released into the extracellular space. So under um, Togavir Day, we're next <clears throat> ano natin? Priority day na. Wait lang. Next. Yeah. <laughs> Ako nag-log siya, sir. Wait lang. So, for Togaviri Day, ang under natin dito ay Rupela. Tama, Ms. Fatma? Ano yung tawag natin doon sa mismong virus na under ng Togaviri Day? Ano, sir? Um, German missiles yung known as niya, sir. Uh, German missiles ang tawag dun sa uh, sakit. Okay, pero, ay, hindi. Rubella ang tawag dun sa sakit. Tapos, German missiles yung common name niya, pero yung totoong pangalan niya ay Rubella virus. Okay? Kasi nga, nakapos nga siya ng Rubella. So, uh, saan, na, saan nakuha yung pangalan na Rubella? So, ibig sabihin, ang, ang Rubella ay galing sa Latin term, which is also known as little red. Ang palatandaan ko dyan, si Little Red Riding Hood, nakahood siya na parang toga. Kaya, Bella is under toga very day. Ganyan ang mga palatandaan ko na nag-born si Kong. So, uh, ano pa ba? Wala naman na kayo masyadong dapat tandaan here, but the prevention is definitely MMR vaccine. Rubella. Uh, sige, proceed. So, next na, sir. Ayaw mo? Next po. Sige lang. <laughs> Kasi, sir, di ba, same lang naman siya. Kasi, may sales din siya. Mm -mm. Pero, sa ibang family nga lang siya. Yung isa sa paramix, so yung isa sa toga very day. Pero at the end of the day, rush pa din naman yung... Uh, Next po. So next is Rayo Verde. So Rayo, Rayo viruses have a unique structure with their genetic material encased in an ice ay ko sa hydral capsid. So, yung sinangga ni Sir Galina is meron siyang um, linear na RNA ba yun, Sir? Linear RNA. Yung Togo Verde ba? Uh, ay Rayo? Ay Rayo. You know, I'm going to Rayo Verde is under... Double, double stranded. stranded. Uh, siya lang ang naging isang double stranded. So, ayun po. So, an outer and an inner capsid are the two concentric protein layers that make up the capsid. So, yung outer capsid niya nagkakontain ng proteins involving in viral entrance and immune system invasion. So, it is in charge of attach attaching to host cells. So, the viral gnome, which is made up of several double-stranded RNA segments, is contained within the inner capsid. So, next poem. Ang life cycle niyan is... Okay, go. Yan. So, ang under niya is rotavirus. So, rotavirus is a viral infection that mostly affects newborn and young children. So, it is very contagious in children around the world. And it is main cause of severe diarrhea and gastroenteritis. So, rotavirus causes inflammation and associated symptoms like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea that is watery, fever and stomach pain by infect in, infecting the cells lining the small intestine. So, ang epidemiology niya is 
it spreads mostly through contaminated food, water, surfaces, and close contact with an infected person through the fecal oral pathway. So, ang diagnostic niya is clinical assessment and laboratory testing and rapid immunodiagnostic techniques such as enzyme immunoassays, assays, or rapid chromatographic immunoassay. They are used to collect a stool sample and check for the presence of rotavirus antigens. So these tests are frequently used in clinical settings and offer speedy findings. Ang first-line drug treatment niya is first is vaccines na Rotarix and Rotatec. Then ORS. So kapag severe na yung cases, kailangan na ng oral rehydration. Ay hindi na kailangan ng oral rehydration and intravenous fluids may be necessary. Tapos wala rin siyang specific treatment. And next po is Rhabdoviridae. So Rhabdoviridae have a bullet-like core. They are envelope viruses, which means their genetic material is encased in an extra external lipid membrane. So during the process of bonding, the membrane of the host cell serves as the source of the viral envelope. So the viral RNA gnome is contained in a helical Nucleoside, nucleoside core that lies beneath the envelope. So the viral RNA is closely bound to viral nucleoprotein or N-protein, which makes up the nucleopapsid, the RNA gnome, is single-stranded in negative sense. Next book. So ang under ng Rhabdoviridae is rab rabies virus. So there once the symptom arises, it almost invariably proves fatal and predominantly affects the central nervous system. So it is highly um, deadly. So the most common way that rabies is spread is through the bite or scratch of an infected animal. So most frequently a dog, but also sometimes a bat, a raccoon, a fox, or another mammal. So severe neurologic symptoms are caused by the virus spreading from the bite site to the brain. So ang epidemiology na is ay nga, bite or scratch of an infected animal, which is a dog, sometimes a bat, and a raccoon, a fox, or another mammal. So next is spread yung virus dun sa bite site. Tapos yung um, virus na nasa bite site is nabupunta siya sa brain. So, the first symptoms of rabies may be similar to the flu, pero including weakness or discomfort, fever, or headache. So, ang causative agent niya is lyso, lysa viruses. So, ang first, ang diagnostic test niya is immunofluorescent antibody test or IFAT and PCR test. So, ang first-line drug treatment niya is yung meron tayong binibigay na vaccination sa mga center na tawag is PrEP. Pre-exposure prophylaxis. So, available siya for individuals na high risk of exposure such as veterinarians, animal handlers, and certain travelers to rabies endemic areas. So, ang prevention ng rabies is also involves, involves measures such as vaccinating pets, avoiding contact with stray animals, and implementing effective ra rabies control programs in animal po population. So, if a person is beaten or scratched by an animal that is thought to be ra rabid, ang first aid measure natin should be taken na cleaning with soap and water. And pwede natin siya bigyan na after ng vaccination, kaya nagkarabis ka na, bigyan natin siya ng post-exposure prophylaxis na nagkakonsist ng dose of human rabies immune globulin.
and yung rabies vaccine is given on the day of the rabies exposure, and then a dose of vaccine given again on 3 days 7 and 14. So, ayun lang po. Okay. So, i-formalize natin for Raptoviridae under niya ay rabies virus and then isa siyang bullet shape. Ano ba yan? Nagdadalaga ako. Uh, isa siyang bullet shape RNA virus. So, paano po ba nag infect ang rabies virus? This is actually neurotrophic. Ah, new, neurotrophic. Sorry, sorry. Neurotrophic. Pag sinabi natin neurotropic, ibig sabihin nag -e evade siya sa immune system ng tao pero matagal. Mm -hmm. Matagal po siya. Kaya kung mapapansin ninyo, pag nakagat kayo ng aso, sasabihin nila parang ay mauulol ka niyan after quite some time. Kaya yung iba, di ba, nauulol sila parang uh, 30 years after kinagat ng aso or 10 years after kinagat ng aso. Mga Kasi matagal. Matagal talaga siya. Now, um, paano po yung ginagawa natin for uh, ano tawag dito for rabies usually if bitten by an animal you need to capture the animal as well so kailangan mo ding i-capture yung animal to check kung mauulol din ba siya uh, kasi there are chances na kapag malala yung rabies na naka-infect dun sa animal Pag nakakagat siya, pati siya mauulol. And at the same time, mauulol din agad yung patient mo. Mm -hmm. Pero may mga times kasi na hindi rin agad lumalabas. Kaya pinapakapture yung animal kasi just in case na hindi maulol yung pasyente, may chances kasi na ang animal agad siya mauulol. So kumbaga parang yun yung palatandaan ng healthcare professional na ah okay, infected nga siya. Okay. Ah, saan yun? Okay. And then um ayun nga ang binibigay nating ano diyan is uh prep or pep. Ang pinagkaiba ng pep sa prep, yung prep pre exposure bago ka ma makagat ng aso. Ngayon, kapag after mo makagat ng aso yung pep. But then uh, usually itong PEP na to binibigay to in how many doses pat na nakagat ka na ba ng aso ng pusa or whatever di ba swerte mo naman kasi ako nakagat na ako many times ng pusa namin so ano yan magkabila ang deltoid yan usually apat apat na tusok yan and then kung gusto mo magpa booster lima so syempre dahil ma arte ako lima ang pinatusok ko masakit yan mm -mm. masakit magpaturok ng anti rabies so, oh. Kaya kapag ano kaya mga per daddy and per mommy, you have to accept that sometimes kasama talaga sa buhay to. Oo. Oh, oh. Yes. Okay. Sir, ah. What if sir ano, nakagat ka ng aso or ng pusa pero hindi ka na parang wala kang symptoms ng rabies, ganun. Parang hindi ka nagpa-vaccine. Hindi ka nagpa-vaccine, tapos kinapsure ko pa yung animal, na-observe nyo yung animal, hindi ko ka ulol. Ah, ah, sir. Hindi <laughs> ba naman siya ulo, sir? Hindi naman. As long as nung baby siguro siya, napa-inject siya ng, ano, ng anti-rabies, yung aso. Uh, ah. Pag-inject naman. Ngayon, kung hindi, nako po. Sige, sir. Thank you po. Mm -hmm. Okay, proceed ka na. So, we will now proceed po to orthonite severity and under this virus are influenza A, B, and C. Next slide. So, orthonite severity or also called influenza virus, it is the major determinant of morbidity and mortality caused by respiratory diseases. And the outbreaks of infection sometimes occur in worldwide epidemics. So, orthomyxia gravy is the factor as to why people worldwide are getting respiratory diseases and dying from these respiratory diseases. Next slide. So, the structure of orthomyxia gravy are as follows. It is a medium-sized 
with an 80 to 120 mm envelope versus exhibiting helical symmetry. It is also round or filamentous. Its composition, it is composed of 1% RNA, 73% protein, and 20% lipid and 6% carbohydrate. Next slide. So let's proceed the month for the life cycle of orthomycin ready. Next slide. So this is step one, the messenger RNAs are exported to the cytoplasm for translation. And then step two, early viral proteins that are required for replication and transcription, do not transport silicobalic sa nucleus. And then with this, yung RNA polymerase activity ng PD1 protein, sinesynthesize niya yung positive single-stranded RNAs galing sa negative single-stranded RNA. So, the PD1 protein it is a protein that's encoded in most influenza A strains. Tapos yung RNA polymerase na as mentioned last meeting, uh, enzyme siya that's in charge to catalyze transcription. Next slide. So, sa step 3, yung mga na synthesized na positive single stranded RNAs, kinakopya naman niya this time. Kinakopya naman siya this time ng RNA polymerase activity ng PD1 protein. Tapos itong mga to, they become the templates for the synthesis of more viral mRNA. Tapos yung mga viral mRNA, they encode the structural protein such as hemagglutinin and neuraminidase which we can find in influenza virus. So itong uh, hemagglutinin and neuraminidase, they are translated by the ribosomes and then delivered to the cell membrane. Next slide. So step five, the viral genome segments are packaged as a progeny variance bud from the host cell. Tapos last destination niya yung endoplasmic reticulum, which is nakalagay na sa slide, organelle that governs the intracellular interplay between viruses and hosts. So, ang disease po is influenza. With its epidemiology, it occurs worldwide and it causes annual outbreaks of variable intensity. So, it depends on the strain. So, with influenza A, influenza A can sweep the world as a pandemic. Influenza B sometimes causes epidemics. And then, influenza C is the least significant because it only induces mild and sporadic respiratory diseases on populations. And then causative agent, like I said, influenza A, B, C. And with the symptoms, it also varies on which strain. So for influenza A and B, the symptoms are as follows. First is chills, tapos headache, dry cough that occurs two to four weeks after major symptoms subside, high fever that lasts for three to five days, muscular aches, and then yung malaise, the general feeling of not being well, and then anorexia. And then for influenza C naman, common cold illness, illness lang yung symptom niya, like Pariza and cough. Pariza is another term for cold. Pariza kasi yung nakalagay si Dawes, kasi nerds ko cold lang po. And then for the transmission, it, uh, influenza can be transmitted from one person to another via airborne droplets or contact with contaminated hands or surfaces. Diagnostic tests naman include PCR, isolation, and identification of virus and serology. Next for the treatment, for influenza A lang yung pinavide sa Jawex. So, ang meron doon is amantadine and dimantadine, which are antiviral drugs. Meron pang pinrovide na classified as neuraminidase inhibitors which slows down the replication of neuraminidase if they are taken 30 minutes of onset ng influenza. So, ito mga neuraminidase inhibitors na to, yung Zanamivir with the brand name Nelenza, it is taken inhalationally, tapos also Tamivir with the brand name Tamiflu, taken already. Ayun lang po. Okay, uh, i-reinforce natin ha. For 
ortomyxoviridae, natandaan ninyo na ang mga under dito ay influenza virus. And ang mga influenza virus natin, hati yan sa tatlo. Influenza A, B, and C. Now, ano po ang pinagkaiba nila? Ang influenza A, ang ini-infect lang ay human and animal. Influenza B, human only. And then influenza C, human also only. So, kumbaga parang ang tanging may animal strain lang ay influenza A. Kaya ang palatandaan ninyo dyan, pag nag-exam kayo, influenza A, influenza animal. Okay, yung animal, letter A. So, um, it replicates in the nucleus of the cell. So, kaya bumababa ang immune system natin kapag may influenza tayo. Now, meron tayong mga tinatawag na virulence factors. So, kung paano sila nakaka-infect. May tinatawag tayo dito ng hemagglutinin. Okay, hemagglutinin glycoprotein. Which actually binds to your red blood cells. Kaya andun yung salitang hima. Okay? Nagbabind sila sa inyong red blood cell and also to the cells of your upper respiratory tract. Okay? Nagbabind sila dyan sa dalawa. Now, um, ano po yung gagawin nitong mga to? Pag yung, uh, yung hemagglutinin, nagbind dyan sa... RBC at saka sa URT or upper respiratory tract infection, it allows what we call on active fusion. So, ibig sabihin, inaalaw ng hemagglutinin glycoprotein yung fusion ng influenza sa cell ng tao or also known as the host cell. Okay? And then, doon na mag, ano, pagdating na sa nucleus, doon na siya magre-replicate. Sir, bakit... Uh, Di ba ang influenza usually si Pon, Ubo, ganyan-ganyan. Sa URT, nagbabind siya. Bakit para saan po yung RBC? Ba't siya nagbabind doon? Imagine ninyo, para ang, kung ang virus ninyo ay hindi naman siya uh, or naligaw siya ng landas, definitely, pag nagbabind dyan sa RBC, dadaan at dadaan niya ng pulmonary pain papunta ng lungs. Uh -huh. So, kung baga gagawin ng transporter si RBC Okay. Hindi ka naman talaga technically magkakaroon ng sakit sa dugo, but then gagamitin niya lang as a transporter. Okay? Another one, paano siya mag-cause ng, uh, ng infection, meron tayong tinatawag na neuraminidase, neuraminidase glycoprotein. Kaya nabanggit kanina ni Ms. Idulsa na meron tayong mga neuraminidase inhibitor. So, pag na-inhibit nyo ba itong neuraminidase glycoprotein na to, possible pa kayo magkaroon ng, ano, ng uh, influenza, syempre hindi na. Kasi hindi na magtutu magtutuloy-tuloy yung progress ng uh, disease natin. Now, Ano po ang ginagawa ng neuraminidase? Given na ASE yung dulo niya, definitely this is an enzyme. This breaks down, okay, this breaks down neuramic acid, which is an important component of mucin. So para saan po ang mucin, Miss Idulsa? Mm-hmm. Anti sir function to defend against bacterial and fungal infection. Ano po? Nag they defend against bacterial and fungal infections. Sir. Like so, okay. Uh, meron tayong mga neuraminidase glycoprotein. Ibig sabihin, binibreak na yung neuramic acid para maging component na mucin. Ano po ba yung mucin? Mucin, ito yung magiging uh, sipon ninyo. Mga mucus ninyo. Important component siya ng inyo mucus. Okay? Or like, ang tawag sa ibang ano ng mucus is mucin-like molecule. So, ibig sabihin, paano nangyayari ito? Pag yung mucin, uh, na-breakdown na siya, ay yung neuram neuramic acid, 
Ilagay natin dito. Uramic acid, na-breakdown siya to mucin. Okay, anong mangyayari kay mucin? Then, uh, it will modify, it will modify the glycosylation in epithelial epithelial tissue. So, yan yung magpapasipon sa inyo. Uh -oh. Kaya kayo binibigyan ng mga neuraminidase inhibitor para mawala yung pagsipon ninyo, para mawala yung pagkubo ninyo. And isa sa mga agents na binibigay, which is commonly tinatanong din po sa boards, si Oseltamivir. Nabanggit mo to, Ms. Ibulsa? Tama, na? Isa siyang, um, isa siyang um, neuraminidase inhibitor. O seltamivir. Yan. Antiviral yan for influenza. Now, ano po yung mga possible complications ng influenza? Okay. Pwede tayo magkaroon ng bacterial bacterial pneumonia in the elderly. Bakit po? Kasi mababa ang immune system nyo. Alam ninyo na ang pneumonia ay isang opportunistic infection. Okay, next, possible din na ang mga bata naman ay magkaroon ng race syndrome. Ano pong kinalaman ng race syndrome? Yung mga patients natin, pag meron silang uh, influenza, di ba pain reliever ang aspirin? Kaya never kayong mag-detake ng aspirin as a pain reliever. Gamitin nyo na lang siya for your blood problems but not sa ano sa mga pain pain kasi ang dami na natin pain meds no kasi possible magkaroon kayo ng race syndrome okay pero normally naman kasi sa mga bata yan kaya wag na wag niyo yung paiinumin ng aspirin yung mga bata ano po ba yung race syndrome ah uh, they are the ones using uh, they are the ones using aspirin and they can get liver and brain disease. O, di ba? Gumamit ka lang ng aspirin, nagka-liver and brain diseases ka pa. So, parang hindi rin siya maganda. Now, influenza, if re remain untreated, pwede siya mag-cause ng death for patients. Pero ang hindi mo ikakamatay yung influenza, ang ikakamatay mo yung complication niya, which is yung pneumonia. Okay? pneumonia or cardiac disease. So ano po yung mga uh, common treatment na binibigay naman for influenza A? Yung Amanta din na banggit ko ni ano na ni Miss Idulsa at saka yung Rimantidine. Ano itong mga amanta din at saka rimanti din na to Na-discuss natin to ng PICOL-1. Ito ay mga anti-Parkinson's medication na merong anti-influenza na capability. na re recall ba? ba diba? yung mga anti-Parkinson's natin? Nabanggit natin doon, meron silang side hustle na kaya nilang maggamot ng influenza. Mm -hmm. Kahit balikat pa ninyo yung inyong mga slide. Okay. So, ano pa po yung mga pwede nating ibigay for patients? Meron tayong mga zanamavir. Zanamavir and yun nga ang oseltamivir. Uh, zanamavir and oseltamivir are both neuraminidase inhibitors. So, pwede itong ibigay itong oseltamivir at saka zanamavir for um, influenza A at saka influenza B. Yung amanta din and rimanti din for influenza A. Okay. Okay, wala naman na ako. Yes. Pwede po paulit po nung yung sa oseltamivir po at saka sa zanamivir po. Ah, okay. Oseltamivir at saka zanamivir. Etong dalawang zanamivir pala to, sorry, mali ang ano po, zanamivir. Zanamivir. Zanamivir siya hindi siya zanamivir. Zanamivir. Ano siya? given siya sa treatment for influenza A at saka influenza B. Pero yung amanta din at saka rimanti din, influenza A lang siya. Okay. 
Ay, ito pala. Nandito pala sa power point. Oh. Influenza A, amante din rimantidine. Lagyan nyo na lang dyan. Anti-Parkinson sila na ginagamit for influenza. Neuraminidase inhibitor, lagyan nyo na lang dito na can be given both to influenza A and influenza B. Hey, okay. proceed tayo sa next. Ano natin? Virus? Are audible po ako? Yes po. Okay, so for para-influenza virus, so yung structure nito is member siya ng paramyxavirday family of membrane envelope viruses with negative sense RNA genome. Nung sinerge ko kanina, yung negative sense is siya daw yung with genetic content being the antisense strand of the viral mRNA. Tapos, Another description for the structure is it is a packed and protected by the long filamentous nucleocapsid helix structure or R RNPs. So yung life cycle ng para-influenza virus is nagbibigyan siya with first the host cell membrane uses with the viral membrane. So this process is agitated by the viral fusion protein via a hemagglutinin uh, neuraminidase receptor binding molecule. The process is agitated by the F protein or what we call viral fusion protein. Next is the virus that introduces its genetic material into the cytoplasm of the host cell. This is followed by subsequent transcription through viral RNA large polymerase or L protein. And then the virus overrides cellular ribosomal machinery to produce an initial wave of viral proteins, which assist production of the rest of the viral genome. And then the human par influence of virus, virus life cycle ends by integrating the previously translated viral proteins with the cell membrane to form newly, newly packed virion S4. So my S4 po dito sa dulo, di lang nabilit ng huyata. And last is the virus, the virus attaches itself to the cellular membrane of its host using shalic, um, shalic acid containing receptor moieties. Yung moitis na to is sila yung uh, ultimately cleaved by neuraminidase in the HN molecule to release new particles, permitting permitting subsequent cycles of the infection. So next slide po. And so for para-influenza type 1, yung description niya is it is a Sendai type. This is one of the most ubiquitous of the known viruses. It is probably infectious for all warm-blooded animals, producing mostly an inapparent infection and in, and in human, isolated case of a mild upper respiratory infection. And yung, uh, itong type ng HPIV is common siya sa uh, infant and young children. So for the causative agent, the most common causative agent of crop belong to the parami day family. So for the symptoms, runny nose, redness or swelling of the eyes, barky cough, no, uh, noisy, harsh breathing, hoarse voice or cry, rattling felt over the chest or back, wheezing and fever. For the ep epidemiology, HPIV is usually spread by direct contact with infectious droplets or by airborne, airborne spread when an infected person breathes, coughs or sneezes. Human par influenza viruses also may remain infectious in airborne, dro airborne droplets for over an hour and on, surface or, and on surfaces for a few hours depending on the environmental conditions. For the diagnostic test, we had the uh, PCR or polymerase chain reaction. Infection with human par influenza viruses can be confirmed also by direct, detec direct deten detection of viral genome. Uh, yung PCRA nga, and then this is including multi-pathogen detection tests that include para-influenza targets, isolation, and identification of the virus in the cell, um, cell culture. For the first-line drug treatment, there, there is no cure for HPIV. Once you've been infected by a para-influenza virus, it needs to run its course. If your symptoms are mild treatment, is usually at home remedies like yung um, nasal saline, nasal suction, cool mist humidifiers, and lots of fluids. 
Also, Tylenol, yung acetaminophen or ibuprofen can be used for the fevers. For antiviral therapy naman, recommended yung revavirin. It is a uh, broad spec uh, spectrum antiviral agent that has been shown to be effective against against yung type 3 naman na HPIV, both in vitro and possibly in vivo. The results are mixed. Revabirin aerosol or systematic therapy has been used to treat HPIV infections in children and adults who are severely immunocompromised. Next quote. So yung influenza type 2 naman, this is a uh, most common cause of crop ng laryngotracheobronchitis. The symptoms of this include cough, fever, respiratory distress. It is a serious cytopathic effect or CPE caused by type 2 in the induction of St. Shaq. Para influenza viruses is multiply slowly. And then yung causative agent, same with para influenza type 1, the most common causative agent of crop belong to its uh, to the para, to the paramyxoviridae family. And then yung symptoms, cough, fever, and respiratory distress. Yung epidemiology niya yan, same then na uh, through droplets and airborns. And then ayun, almost same sila yung, uh, yung parang in yung crops yung pinag uh, pinagkaiba nila yung sa type 1 sendai type and then itong type 2 is laryngotracheobronchitis yung first line din, first line drug treatment din niya is wala ring um uh, wala ring cure and then revabirin din yung are recommended for antiviral therapy next slide eh eto respiratory syncytial viruses or RVS for RSV for short. So yung structure niya is the simplest variants consists of two basic components, which is nucleic acid, single or double-stranded RNA or DNA, and the protein coat, which is the capsid, which functions as a shell to protect the viral genome from nucleases, and which during infection attaches the variant to the specific receptors exposed on the pros uh, prospective host cell. Also, RSV possesses three integral membrane proteins. First is the receptor attachment, glycoprotein or what we call uh, protein G, and then the fusion protein or protein F, and then a short hydrophobic or what we call SH protein. The G protein is involved in viral attachment to the host cell, while the F protein is possible for fusion. Then the SH protein forms a pentameric ion channel and then yung G, yung protein G targets the chelated uh, uh, cells of the airways and yung F nagkakosyan ng virion membrane to fuse with the target cell membrane. And then yung, the, ano, yung capsid ng virus na to is made up, made up of three proteins, yung nuclear protein, phosphoprotein, and polymerase protein. Tapos meron din siyang... Uh, Yung surface ng glycoprotein niya also evoke a host, um, host derived antibody response following an infection. And then the life cycle ng RSV is first, the virion initially binds to the host cell through its G protein and membrane fusion is med meditated by the F protein. So, which uh, into the membrane of the target cell, then fold itself to bring the viral and host membranes into contact resulting in membrane fusion. Next is the genome of the virus is used for protein synthesis with large amounts of NS12 and SG protein produced shortly after infection. These proteins protect the replicating virus from the host immune defense. And then third is the viral genome is replicated and structural proteins are produced. Then fourth, the surface glycoproteins are synthesized in the Golgi body and depo deposited in the host membrane. And then lastly is assembly of the new variant takes place in the cytoplasm. But before um, before binding to the, through the whole cell membrane, picking up its surface glycoprotein as a part of this process, SG protein is also released. Next slide po. And so for the description, RSV is a common respiratory virus that usually causes mild, cold-like symptoms. Most people recover in a week or two, but RSV can be serious, especially for infants and older adults. 
older adults. RSV is the most um, common cause of bronchial bron bronchiolitis or, or this is a inflammation of the small airways in the lungs and pneumonia infection of the lungs. RSV virus is a uh, cause virus for yung RSV virus, siya na mismo yung uh, causative agent. And then, this is an uh, envelope RNA virus of the paramyxo virus family. It is distantly related to measles virus. Also, RSV viral strains can be classified into two subgroups, which is A and B. For the epidemiology, uh, the RSV enters the body through the eyes, nose, or mouth. It spreads easily through the air on the infected respiratory droplets. You, uh, you can be infected if someone with RSV coughs or sneezes near you. Then the virus also passes to others through direct contact, such as shaking hands. For diagnostic tests, the most common is the mouth swab or a blood test to check, uh, to check the white blood cell counts and look for viruses. In severe RSV cases that requires hospitalization, additional testing may be needed. Imaging, like imaging tests such as chest x-ray or CT scan can check for lung complication and then RSV can be detected by rapid antigen detection test, direct fluorescent antibody and polymerase chain reaction testing and culture. If RSV is the main concern, DFA testing or yung um, rapid antigen detection test may be used particularly, particularly in the infants and children. For the first plan treatment naman po, for non-severe infection treatment often allows that of the common cold like virus and ensuring the individual stays hydrated with oral fluids. If the infection is more severe and the child's oxygen saturation drops below 90%, the patient is often given warm humidified oxygen or intubation with supplemental oxygen. Most common RSV infection go away on their own in a week or two, but there is no specific treatment for RSV infection, though researchers are working to develop vaccines and antivirals for this um, virus. Also, there are two, um, two, two drugs ap approved for RSV disease. This is the uh, palizumab and rivabilin. So this, uh, this, these two drugs bind with the protein present in the virus, forming a shield. As a result, they fail to infect human cells. Next. Okay, pabalik muna dun sa may ano, para influenza. Okay, under pa rin ito ng paramyxoviridae. Ha? So, tatlo ang under ng paramyxoviridae. Si measles, si para influenza 1, at saka si RSV. Now, na-discuss na natin kanina yung measles as the first virus. Second, si para influenza 1 and 2. Nasabi naman din ni Miss um, Alier kanina kung anong pinagkaiba ng R. Uh, ng para influenza 1 and 2. Ang idadagdag ko na lang dito is they are actually common to patients na uh, or common siya as a counterpart ng community acquired pneumonia. Okay, community acquired respiratory disease pala. Sorry. Respiratory disease. Kung meron tayo sa mga bacteria na community acquired pneumonia, meron din naman tayo sa virus. Et, eto yon yung mga para influenza virus. Sino yung mga prone dito? Yung mga yung malnutrition, yung malnutrition, people na nasa crowded place. Uh, meron vitamin A deficiency. Merong mga lack of breastfeeding for the babies. And environmental smoke. Yung mga nagsusunog ng mga uh, basura. Kasi may mga kapag na-burn na ano, pwede silang kapitan ng virus. Tapos pag na-inhale nyo yun, possible kayo magka-infection. Okay? Now, bakit po uh, epinephrine ang binibigay na supportive care? Naalala ba ninyo yun doon sa antagonism example natin nung nasa pigol pa kayo? Yung histamine plus epinephrine. Tama? Naalala ba ninyo yun? Mm -mm. Na-discuss na yun, di ba? Histamine at epinephrine. 
kasi kapag nagkakaroon kayo ng para influenza virus most likely um nag ano yan nagko-cause yan ng histamine release okay para magkaroon kayo ng bronchitis pamamaga ng inyong bronchus now histamine okay will actually be causing okay, histamine is always causing vasodilation Mm-hmm. Kasi yan lagi ng vasodilation. Now, ano ang gagawin natin para ma-counterpart natin yung vasodilation na ginagawa ni histamine? Bibigyan natin si epinephrine which causes vasoconstriction. Ngayon, kapag nag-antago na isang dalawang yan, ibig sabihin, um, pwedeng ma-retain into normal state yung patient nyo. Okay? Now, ang tawag natin sa antagonism na yun ay physiological antagonism. O, naalala? O, dapat naman. Next, punta tayo ngayon doon sa RSV. RSV, uh, ano pa ba? Ang tangin ninyong tatandaan dito, respiratory syncytial virus, it replicates in the cytoplasm, not in the nucleus. Ah, uh, ayun. And then ano pa ba ang ginagawa nito? It can actually cause acute otitis media. Alam niyo ba yung otitis media? Ito yung may parang tumutulo doon sa tenga ng bata. Ano? Kaya usually yung mga bata na may ganyan, most likely meron silang RSV illness. Hindi dahil hindi sila nakapag-cotton buds. Oo. Kapaglinis naman sila ng tenga pero continuous kasi yung pag ano, pag uh, pag Okay? So, nasabi naman halos ni Miss Alier. So, let's proceed with... Ah, hindi. Magkukwis pala muna kayo ng DNA virus. Gusto nyo ba muna ng review ng 15 minutes before kayo mag-quiz ng 10 minutes? Ay, ng 10 points. Sige. Balik kayo ng 4.19. Uh-huh. Mag-review muna kayo. Sige. Sige.